Yeah, so today is going to be uh, relatively quiet, at least wet weather wise. Those winds, though, are eventually going to pick up. Not too bad at the moment, just out of the east at 11 miles an hour. Temperature at 30, feeling more like 21 because of that. And you look across the state, we've got clouds and super Doppler trying to pick up on a little bit of snow. Again, not a lot of that actually reaching the ground as the air is just too dry for that to happen. Otherwise, anywhere from 5 to 15 miles an hour for winds across the state. These will be ramping up to more than 35 mile an hour gusts by this afternoon. So hold on to your hat weather. 24 for Mason City, Carroll at 25, Ames coming in at 28. Temperatures are hovering around freezing to the southeast. And you can see how quickly we warm here. We're back up to 59 by 2 p.m. Middle 60s this afternoon. You can see that little wispy icon there. Well, that means very breezy conditions are headed our way. So let's track those out for you. You can see by noon we're already seeing gusts upwards of 25 to 30 miles an hour. Notice the storms this evening though. Got some initial storms that could bring in some, some large hail through extreme northern portions of the state. So that is the initial threat here. And then we head into your Friday. Look at the winds still churning at around 30 to 40 miles per hour. And as we head into the afternoon, you can see a line of storms will develop uh, and race its way to the east. So the timing on this could give or take an hour or two. I know this says three. This could be noon. This could be one. But those storms fire up, and as soon as they do, they could go rapidly severe, bringing the potential for large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes as well. So that area continues to march its way to the east. We're not going to be seeing those strong storms all day long. Notice by five, we've kind of got those arced from Algona all the way down towards Cedar Rapids. And then on the back side of this, we'll bring in some chances for snow. Could even see some accumulations of snow in spots. So for tomorrow, the area of highest risk highlighted in red here. That's moderate risk. That's four on a scale that goes to five. So this is pretty serious. And you look at the timing of this again, midday into the afternoon. Your primary threats are going to be tornadoes as well as severe wind. So again, could see gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour. Uh, temperature warmer though, 73. We dropped that down to 50 on Saturday, back up to 70 on Sunday. And another system to watch next week could see more strong storms Tuesday into Wednesday.